You're not actually going to try and slay me or anything, right? Because I wouldn't if I were you. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Apparently this is an interesting, overwhelmingly positively reviewed game. Okay. Uh, sounds... Looks. It seems like it looks like it's a Renpy style visual novel with uh, a stated goal, which is the title of the game. You must slay the princess. Apparently so. Uh, what did the princess do? I don't know. So uh, we will find out. It says it says in the beginning that uh, there's many choices you can make, but uh, at the end of the day, this is a love story, right? Okay. Oh, whoa, wait. Jesus. Oh, hey, hey. Watch out now. <laughs> well, if she's if she's doing that, then it might be a lot easier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, okay. Mm-hmm. Already cracking. Yep. Hmm. Well Don't gotta think too hard if you keep up that that attitude, I'll tell you what. Let's let's see if something can be fixed. Yeah? Yeah. I mean this 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 crack looks pretty permanent. I don't know if the super glue is gonna gonna do it, but enjoy your white woman jump scares, Reggie. <laughs> it's already beginning. It's already beginning. Alright. Chapter one The Hero and the Princess. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Cool. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. The end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only <laughs> reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? So the princess seems kind of... Seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can someone else do this? Get it, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Do I get some kind of reward for doing this? Oh, okay. Oh, Guys wow. tell me what to do. Okay, we got op we got things to say. That's a lot of options. Interesting. <laughs> Damn. I wonder if the mouse should be over there. Oh my god. <laughs> no, let's go, let's go, let's go. You got this in control. <laughs> It's sweet, I've always wanted to offer Monarch. Viva la revolution! Mm -hmm. Silently continue to the cabin. Or just fucking leave. Can That's interesting. Bounce? Can you just bounce? Yo, what if I just bounce? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? And we've got a, we've got a narrator with an attitude. Which means immediately, untrustworthy narrator. Mm -hmm. Too yep. biased, too invested. Yep. Okay, fine, you're persistent. I'll go to the cabin and I'll slay the princess. Oh. oh. Okay, fine, I'll go to the cabin and maybe talk to the princess. Maybe I'll slay her. Maybe I won't. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> yeah, I definitely know where I'm going. Nope. The only thing that matters is where I'm not going. The cabin. I'm not going to the cabin. I'm actually pretty okay with the world ending. I relish in the coming of a new dawn beyond our own. Gonna walk in the opposite direction now. <laughs> Or you can just keep on bouncing. Straight up. There won't be a new dawn if the world ends. There'll just be nothing forever. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Wow, it gives you contrarian options. Okay. But then you, you ultimately are moving. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands of this whole situation than to take part in it. Voice of the hero. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. <laughs> That's strange. It looks like this path also leads to the cabin. How convenient. Everything's back on track again. Maybe the world can still be saved after all. <laughs> How are you gonna do this? Fuck you. You're really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? 
It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Yeah, well, that's how I got my job in QA, so, you know. Yeah. We push boundaries. We break them. I don't care. I'm not killing a princess. Good. Maybe you're right. Everyone should die. That's what they get for dumping me in the woods and asking me to kill someone for them. <laughs> you're not emotionally calculated <laughs> to do this. Doing this. Stakes and consequences aren't emotional blackmail. They're facts of life, and if you had an ounce of maturity, you'd understand. Maturity. But fine. You turn around and trek back down the path you came. Oh, would you look at that? You're at the cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like the universe itself is doing its best to bring you to your fated confrontation with the princess. Stanley Parable-ass motherfucker. <laughs> There's no fighting this, is there? I have to go into the cabin, don't I? Fine. Oh, yeah? Well, I guess I start walking in a different direction again. In fact, I'm just going to keep trekking through the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. Oh, interesting. What if I actually commit to not doing it? There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived, as well as for everyone who ever will. What's wrong with the end of the world? <laughs> and here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. Oh. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just a trick of light. Or is it merely a trick of the light? In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. I'm glad we turned around. Yes, because step one is who the fuck are you? Yeah. And what are the what, like? I hear you, but what if you're lying? <laughs> you know? Okay. Wait, what's going on? Huh? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? <laughs> it doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you. You're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me than you do about the fate of the world. Bump up the audio a little bit there. Uh huh. Infinite cabins. In infinite woods. You've doomed us all. You know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. I mean, it actually looks like a fun community. Everyone's got a little mountain. They all set the lights. You lose track no pools, of just though. how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Congratulations, you've invented the suburbs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good job! Wow! <laughs> Chapter 2, The Strange Boundary path Skip. In the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. I'm getting a terrible sense of deja vu. Wait, hasn't this happened already? Okay, no. You weren't actually kidding. She actually ended the world last time, didn't she? What the hell is she? Oh, you bastard. You're in it. You're in for it now. I'm wise to your tricks. But I died. The whole world ended. What am I doing here? Those walls weren't here last time. You can't just force me to go to the cabin. Yep, okay, heading to the cabin now. I'm definitely gonna slay the princess. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'm going to the cabin. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's with those walls? What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. Oh my god. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. 
Oh. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're doing. <laughs> He's like a captive audience. Voice of the contrarian. <laughs> <laughs> the call out. <laughs> hey. Damn. All right. Hey, what's up? He might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin, but I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin his day. If by ruining my day, you mean ruining everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. Voice of the content brain. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, someone's having a little let's play, are they? <laughs> Trying to pick the funniest, most interesting choices as opposed to the real ones? <laughs> Fine, here you go. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. Nothing matters to you, does it? Huh? Not invested. The world hasn't ended yet. And you are never going to slay her with that attitude. Stuff those pathetic little voices to the back of your mind and stay focused on the task ahead. The <laughs> voice of the LP funsies. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. If I died and the world ended, then why am I here? I can assure you that you're not dead and that the princess has yet to end the world, otherwise you wouldn't be here. And to answer your question, you're here to slay the princess. I literally told you that a second ago. If he doesn't remember what happened, then... Okay. I don't know. I think it's more... He might have walled off everything, but the... If by ruining my... Day, okay. The world really did end last time. The world hasn't ended yet. Oh, less options? Mm hmm Okay, now you can, now you just, yeah, you get your one or your two. Uh, hold on a second. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. You know I can tell when you're lying, right? Please take this seriously. I am begging you. What? What, what do you mean, lying? I was... Just... A warning before you go any further. Sorry, one second. Did something catch your eye? Uh, when I clicked the same option. It did play the same sequence twice, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> With the fucking... Yeah. Da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. <laughs> Wall Maria, how you doing? She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop oh, you from shit. her. Oh, shit. Don't believe a word she says. I cheat steal? Kill win. Everybody's doing it. Yo, Eddie Guerrero? <laughs> <laughs> Is Eddie Guerrero the princess? Or maybe it's a Killer Mike and LP tied up together. Mm. Run the jewels? Run him. Run him. If we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. Let's keep an open mind. Oh, we're going in! The cabin interior mm. is wrong. A confusing patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. It's all shifted. An inch here, a foot there. Such that the seams are never quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. Yeah, there's a couple of questions up front on the first row, first thing I did want to ask, but oh, yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. That's proper fucked. It's like one, two, three layers, layers. of floor. One, two, three... Maybe well, look, man, when you draw on pencil, you know, you don't have to commit. Yeah. So this is what happens. <laughs> the only furniture of note is a plain table. 
its legs all the wrong lengths, its material devoid of feature. Okay. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Good. So that is not just the artist failing perspective. <laughs> <laughs> That is a deliberate, intentional design choice. <laughs> awesome. Or imagine if the artist like drew it like that, and the narrator was just right. Like, They're not the right. Like, Damn. <laughs> Come on, yo, Dash Zero, you seeing this shit? What the fuck? Look at that table, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Fine. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity anyway? Mm-hmm. Pro tip, by the way, if you ever do want to make sure you're on perspective, is you pick a horizon line, and then you just you have a, a, a point like this, and then you just draw lines from that point. Like a, a fleeting point? Or exactly, a and point as long as you have them go out, you know, like a sunburst uh -huh. and you blind them up you can always have correct Proportion perspective lines perspective. if you're trying to do straight three point perspective Yeah, in, Fran in French it's a point of fruit I don't know what's the term in English for that converging point vanishing point? Oh, maybe that's it, maybe that knife okay no, we're taking the knife have you seen this place? We have literally no idea what to expect and no idea what we're dealing with. And the hero's ready to go. The hero wants to swing. The hero doesn't realize that these edibles got hands. <laughs> I've already told you what you're dealing with. You're dealing with a princess. How many times do I have to explain this incredibly simple and straightforward premise? You can't just say that, but when everything here is so wrong. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, you've piqued my interest. <laughs> What's gonna happen if we lose ourselves? I feel like we've almost like we've skipped a default run of like a normal series of actions yeah. and we're on the like god damn it level run now <laughs> immediately. You know? There's clearly supposed to be a sequence before this that you just went, nah, fuck it. Nothing because you're going to pull yourself together. The game knows that you're a dick. <laughs> and they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. That's what you want. That's yeah. how you want to play? Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job. So you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin, but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay. Okay, I'm fine. Good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all waiting for you to complete a very important task. What was that task again? <laughs> Didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. You can approach the mirror or take the blade or enter the basement. Hmm. We should look at ourselves. Wouldn't that be fun? You won't be looking at yourself because there isn't a mirror. There's the table, the blade sitting on the table, and the door to the basement. There's nothing else in here. What? There's definitely a mirror. Mm -hmm. There isn't. You insisting it isn't there just makes me want to look at it even more. <laughs> actually, actually accurate statement, Contrarian. <laughs> I mean, look, if you stumble into true path type routes on on uh, uh, right away, that would be wild. 
Uh, why would you lie about that? What's the point? I also want to look at myself. I want to see how handsome I am. Doesn't matter. Remain silent or approach the mirror. Exactly. Why would I lie about something so meaningless? What good would a mirror even do? And you waste time preening yourself instead of doing what needs to be done. You wouldn't. Therefore, that means you can't see it. That means it exists outside of your knowledge and or power. Right? Uh-huh. You walk up to the wall next to the basement <laughs> door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. This really isn't funny. Wipe the mirror clean. You reach forward oh. and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Interesting. Uh-huh. But it was there a second ago. Uh-huh. And now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. Uh-oh. I think the mirror did its job, actually. Now, will you take the blade? Or will you enter the basement? Well, maybe just in case. Oh, just in case. Unless you want to go full pacifist commitment. No. Dot eater mode. <laughs> <laughs> Commit to fixing. As a sign of goodwill, I came unarmed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, fuck it. If we're going wonky... Let's just go wonky then. Ooh. The door to the basement creaks open, Whoa. revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. I feel like we've already committed to the contrarian path. That's fine. You don't you didn't put your fingerprints on the blade, so that's a win in my book. Who knows what this narrator was? Right, 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 right. <laughs> you didn't leave any prints. <laughs> You just touched the wall. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. A kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is at once. An odor that is simultaneously everything and yet the sum of it all coalescing into a thick, nauseating nothing. You know what's funny is, like, this type of unclear, uneasy, infinite nonsense geometry is actually now not that discomforting because we recognize it as Escher. Mm -hmm. And therefore it's actually familiar and very comforting and sane. You're like, oh, we're in an Escher. Okay, got it. I'm not supposed to understand. Okay. You acknowledging you you acknowledge it while dismissing part of it. You can compartmentalize it as yeah. illogical. Oh, this is a crazy bullshit. Right and here. then, you know, and then just move it into that place as opposed to going like I can't possibly make it out. You know, you just you 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 you, you recognize it as a uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for. An irrational liminal space. Okay, yeah. You know? If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Also, actual thought is the, uh, like, you should, big monster shows up, and it's like, hey, what if you want to talk your way out of this? And it's like, then you showed up with a fucking knife? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Her voice, a disquieting collage of tone and personality, drags up the stairs. Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? Is the princess a valley girl? Is there some vocal fry going on? <laughs> no. No, thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. But whatever we do, we're gonna oh, die. I feel like a hero now. Her font was red, though. Yeah. We don't even have a weapon. <laughs> the color of love. Is it? Of organs? 
I love my organs. But we already tried turning you. around and leaving, didn't we? <laughs> and he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. See, but I think, like, when you want to do... I think the color of love is actually, like, reddish pink. When you want a heart to be, like, love-coded, okay. you make it, like, almost pinkish. Whereas if you go for a scarlet, you're going for a blood type of thing. So <laughs> you can, you know, you're right, but you can read that a couple ways. That you know? is too deep. Yeah. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? Dried blood, even. There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his death. Capital H. Hard stairs to the left, center staircase, soft stairs to the right. Mm-hmm. Damn. Enlightened centrist. You step onto the center staircase. Paths wind out around you in all directions, each step branching into its own staircases, which branch into their own staircases, and so on. You aren't quite sure if yours is taking you up or down, but at the very least, it's taking you somewhere. You concentrate oh on where you are, careful not to stray onto any of the many splitting branches that tempt you on all sides. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't want to have to backtrack to yours once you'd made a decision that took you someplace else. Nope. We walk down the middle. <laughs> Incremental progress. <laughs> uh, I am very smart. <laughs> so you take one careful, focused step after another. One foot down, another foot down, another after that. You lose yourself in following the correct pattern, in following what looks to be the true path, the one that cuts straight down, or up, or maybe sideways. But no matter the direction it goes, it certainly is the most true path. You know that much. Yes, yeah, the one we chose. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. Time disappears, and you can feel yourself begin to untether. Physical sensations dull and then vanish, until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey, a continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Damn, we forgot how to shade? We forgot how to fill, how to texture. We're now just storyboarding. We're describing the concept of this game on a napkin in a restaurant. Consumption and betrayal. Skepticism and blind devotion. Rivalry and submission. Terror and longing. Pain and unfamiliarity. And at the heart of it all, an emotion that can only be described as... Can I help you? What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. Mm-hmm. Princess, eyes bright but otherwise shrouded in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. I wonder if we've changed at all. <sighs> you're here to... He's just being an ass. We remember. <laughs> so I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Let's talk to her for a bit, try and get our bearings. She seems... normal. Yeah, she does seem normal. Why is she here? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was here. What's your name? Getting down here was weird, like I was pulled apart uh, and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? For all I know, you're locked up down here for a reason. Do you know why you're down here? You're apparently a threat to the world. I was sent here to slay you. Do you know why you're down here? Is this a quiz? If you're here, then surely you know why I'm here. Actually, no. But you know, right? You have to know. You're the only 
other person I've ever seen. Or at least the only one I can remember. Don't give me false hope. Please just end this already. One way or another, just do it. This was getting sassed for a second there. <laughs> what the, like, okay, and then we switched over to, yeah, to some uwu. As the princess okay. speaks again, mm -hmm. it's almost as if she fractures. Mm -hmm. And where there was once just one of her, there is now another. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, that's a lot of trouble. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can, can we put her back? You said you'd been here before, right? What exactly happened last time? Does it matter? Yes, it matters. But I'm not going to waste any more time prying out details if you're going to be so irritating about it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. But what's done is done, isn't it? Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way into your head, unthink them. If it's not already too late. You have a job to do here, and you need to do it now. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Ooh, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. <laughs> I mean, there is a third pot of spot yeah. on the screen right up here, right? There's more of you now. <sighs> What's your name? Getting down here was weird. Like, I was getting pulled apart and put back together again. Do you know what happened to me? Getting you out of here. Try and free her. I don't know what you are, but I can't trust uh -oh. you. Can't trust anything here. Leave her in the basement. Retrieve the blade. These are all one option. Oh, wow. Looks like we got a bug here. Where three are supposed to exist. Retrieve the blade sounds interesting, but unfortunately we're stuck on this, uh... Three option select at the same time. What? Hmm. Hold on a minute. Quick save. <laughs> oh, yeah, that can be done. Am I saying three things at once? Try to free her. Are you talking to both princesses? At the same time? Wait. That's not right. Go on. Take a step forward. Your foot lands. <laughs> it lands different. You experience a firm footfall, a gentle tread, a confident stride. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to languish alone. Interesting. So you're everywhere all at once. You're every, every, everything everywhere all at once is occurring. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... We, we can't... Mm -hmm. LCL Ray vibes. Right? Instrumentality. Yeah. Especially going on this one right over here. Mm -hmm. Don't pop me. Do you not have anything witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. Yeah. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Luckily for all, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world and the princess collapse in on themselves before it all... ...falls apart? I think he's gone. It's a lot of meat. We were never going to salvage this, were we? What happened to us? To us? What are what we? Are we? There, are there are parts, parts of us that are dead, dead and, and the others, others and the others. They just, just don't fit. fit. They just don't fit. <laughs> we can feel them moving around in spaces they don't, they don't belong. belong. It's all it's so, so uncomfortable. uncomfortable. Oh, that's so Did you do this? Did, Did we, we do, do this? this? Can, can, can you pull, can us, you back pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Can you fix us? We should help her. I think 
we did this. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. It's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. 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 It's gonna be okay. I'm doing my best. I don't think you're supposed to be fixed. No. You just destroyed everything. I'm not going to fix you. I'll do my best. Well, good luck, buddy. Oh, yeah. Okay. Looks like Time Cop. Remember Time Cop? When you touch yourself? Do you remember what happens to you when you touch yourself in Time Cop? Anybody? Time cop? No? <laughs> no. Was John, that a, was John that Claude Van Damme? Oh god. Time cop? Is that when he had the mullet? Or it was just Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude Van Damme, okay. Never touch yourself. Don't touch yourself. Never touch yourself when you go into time cop. Difficulty impossible. If you're gonna time cop, don't. <laughs> But you don't know if she had a chance to hear your reply. She's gone and replaced with something else. With the mirror. She's gone. W where did she go? Should we try and find her? And that was different text. Mm-hmm. And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I don't know where she went. I don't know how we'd even go about looking for her. The narrator's gone. I think I'm supposed to look at the mirror. Approach the mirror. There's something dreadful about it. I, I don't think you should. No. <laughs> don't do that. I, I like that explore seems to indicate, like, the idea of n not committing as much as this does. Yeah. He is. Yeah. Does that mean the world ended? Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? You're right. She's gone. It's just us and that awful thing. Again, what the hell are we supposed to do? Approach the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. The mirror never scared you before. It's different now. It feels... I don't know. Final. First time for me. You approach the mirror. Gaze into your reflection. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone, but the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Just Dio posing? <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Go to the cabin. Hey, yo, this guys, this mirror is super cool. You are at the cabin. Hello. Is that fire or arms? It's Some arms. Arms. Finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. What are you? I mean. I feel like we just tripped and fucking fell into SMT <laughs> on, on, on run one. Uh, what are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Solitary lights? What do you mean? I don't know what I am. I think that you are like me. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. The gift of a fragile vessel. Is this the end of the world? Let her out of there. Do you know the narrator? Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? Okay, there we scroll. I was like, do you... <laughs> know the way to San Jose? Uh, are you the princess? Do we know each other? What happens now? Attack the entity. Destroy your body. Interesting. A lot of various choices there. Fragile vessel? Yes. Nerves and fibers to feel the worlds beyond. 
perspectives to make my own. These ones are a contradiction, a winding kaleidoscope of paths and walls. They are stretched into a shape not unlike me, but it is a shape they cannot hold. I am sorry that you met this vessel so early in your journey, but mm -hmm. they will make for a rich and vibrant heart. And by paths unlocked, do you mean every single one of them? <laughs> Literally every single path? Do not mourn them, for they will finally get to know themselves. Is this the end of the world? How can the world have ended if we are talking? Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Are you what sent me to slay the princess? Are you what trapped me here? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. But were you always the princess, or are you just making her a part of yourself? You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Do you know about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, Hope, as I witness you. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit. But this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Ah. Complete the ending chart, perhaps. Mm. Aren't you scared that I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces of you do I have to find? And what if I don't let you do this to me? I was sent to slay the princess to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? Okay, make me forget. Is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape. To okay, Shiva. I mean, where's the lie? You know, at the end of the day. Question of perspective again. Heat death of the universe is still something, right? You're being semantic. What are you going to do if I help you? sprawling and unilluminated. Hmm. Hmm. Aren't you scared? How much will I forget? How many pieces of you do I have to find? How much will I forget? Everything. 
until we meet again. And what if I find the way to kill you? I have not lived. I am not afraid to die. But can you die if you have not lived? Wop wop wop. And what if I don't let you do this to me? Then we will be here forever, as we are now. Unfinished. Dry. Hollow. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. Wait. If you need time, then I'll wait with you. Wait forever. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can no longer bear the weight of its hand-drawn cage? You'll always come back to the box because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Well, shit. No way. Kicked out. Kicked to desktop. <laughs> Wait, is was that on purpose or was you that? Return to me, though you were gone mere oh! minutes. I never left your side. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Okay, princess, or whatever you are. Are you playing with me? Okay, all right. <laughs> Have you played Undertale? Uh, I no. That's I, a no. I didn't do the three. That, that's runs, a no. That's so a no. that's a no. Okay. I only did one okay. run. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a game that I'm playing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, huh. All right. All right. But yeah, we we've we've spoken about that on, on stream before. And that's the state that you're in until you make until you have to forget. All right. Go actually complete the game. Do the things. But you have another goal in mind. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't Everything goes dark, and you die. Hmm. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. <laughs> and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Well, that's an interesting first run. If I do say so myself. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty interesting ass, uh, uh, yeah. Okay. 